I said the quote before, but it fits here. Politics stops at the water's edge. That line is what's known as the Vandenberg Resolution. It was named for a senator who served in the 1940s. Vandenberg, a Republican who disagreed with the foreign policies and decisions of then-President Harry Truman. But he said, quote, politics stops at the water's edge. And in the spirit of bipartisanship and presenting a unified American front to the world, he decided to follow the leadership of his president. Now, I'm bringing all this up because of the display that we've seen this past week and from most notably here, and he's not alone, but this seemed to be Exhibit A, Staten Island's own Congressman Republican Michael Grimm. Now, here is Grimm on Monday on CNN of this week, not last week, this Monday explaining why the U.S. not should, not could, but had to attack Syria. That being said, I think there's two major reasons why we, we have to strike. Number one, the president of the United States already committed us. The president of the United States committed us when he drew the red line. Uh, so the idea that we should or we shouldn't strike, I think that, that ship sailed a long time ago if we want to keep the credibility of the United States. Now, trust me, there's four other clips, one after the other, that are even as dramatic as that and more in the same conversation where he said, we have to do it, we got to send a message, our credibility. He talked about it. his wearing a uniform. He went on and on. But you get the drift. No vacillation, black and white, you got to do it. So that's Monday. Here's the same guy on Thursday on the same network. I think at this point, the world is looking at the indecisiveness. They're looking at how the president has bungled, bungled this. And now we can no longer get our, our credibility back. In the last 72 hours, none of our allies have stepped up. I was expecting the president to be able to build a coalition around this because, uh, quite frankly, Secretary Kerry gave an outstanding speech, really, I think, captured the heart of America, realizing what we needed Sir, to do. All of and that now was, all that seems to be backing all off. Of that was okay. Now, Mr. Man of his convictions there on the screen here. He's even sent an email out to his supporters today trying to raise money off of his high-profile flip-flop. And trust me, he's not alone. So let me just recap. The guy wanted the world to get behind him. What has the president done? He's gotten on a plane and gone out to the G20 over there um, in St. Petersburg. I don't think he could have done anything more in between. And he says he's got a problem with the red line. What's moved since Monday? My point is we good and decent people around this table can disagree whether we should or shouldn't attack. But I'm seeing so much political gamesmanship on this, Genie. I'm sorry. I don't give these guys the benefit of the doubt. Phonies like him are trying to score points. And it's one thing if we're doing some political issue, but this has to do with American security issues. I, I got a problem with it. Yeah, and I'm not defending, you know, Grimm or anybody else, but I can say I am empathetic to this feeling of being torn. And that's why I go back to the president has to have ownership of this. Listen, foreign policy is bungled all the time. This has been a long time that this has been bungled. Two years ago, he said Assad had to go. He drew the red line twice during the election and since. And now it's happened and he's bungled it since. They need to be clear on what they want. I believe he could get the majority support in the Senate and the House if he really people felt that he wanted but to Jeannie, go in. Look at For the last him two to years. step back. What's happened in he, Egypt? What's happened no, in Libya? Richard, why, What's happened in these Richard, places why is, where we say, my gosh, we don't know what could happen is, next. We don't have any control over this anymore. Why has he sent Kerry out? And Congress people have been saying, we want to hear from the president directly. And maybe he's going to do that now, and I think he will, and I hope he's learned his lesson. But this failure for him to communicate clearly and for people to believe that he wants to do this All makes right. it difficult. I'm going to get, for I'm gonna get so predictions unpopular. around the table what happens next week right after the break. Stay with us. Back after this.